take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. What's more, since one silverfish does not necessarily indicate a serious infestation, many people have a hard time catching their infestation in its early stages. Homeowners with homes that are particularly ideal for a silverfish infestation can prevent a problem by changing the conditions where they live. Take our lead. Good news! They don't do any of this. Silverfish are essentially very shy to humans, and are really trying to avoid you at all costs. They don't eat blood, and are more interested in your paper products than anything on your body. Make your mark, take our lead. Don't panic. Despite how scary they may look, stay brave if you see a silverfish. According to Pest Control Service and Research Institute Orkin, silverfish don't bite, nor do they carry any harmful diseases. Take our lead. If you've got dandruff, you might be worried about silverfish feasting on the flakes in your hair. Seeing them in your closet or bookshelves should give you a moment's pause just because of the damage they can do to your clothes and other paper products. Let's help you make your mark. Silverfish are pretty harmless indoor insects that rarely cause any major damage to homes. Getting rid of silverfish isn't difficult, though. Just try a few removal and prevention tips and you should see some quick success in removing them from your home or keeping them out altogether. Make your mark, take our lead. Silverfish are repelled by the smell of cedar, so you can keep them away by sprinkling it around areas where they live. Since cedar shavings can make a bit of a mess, use them in outdoor areas, basements, and other places where you don't mind having wood shavings lying around. Make your mark, take our lead. Finding silverfish in beds although they prefer places like bathrooms and closets, it is possible to find silverfish bugs in beds. These insects are about half an inch in length with silver teardrop-shaped bodies and long antennae. While they're more annoying than harmful, these pests can damage bedding. Make your mark, take our lead. Carpeting, hair, dandruff, coffee and clothing often attract them. They'll even dine on cotton and linen, which is why you'll often find them around mattresses. Even leather and synthetic fabrics such as nylon aren't safe from them if they're hungry enough. Let's help you make your mark. Often, silverfish come from other areas in the home to feed on the contents of cupboards, bookshelves, and closets. While they may infest cool areas if there is food nearby, the insects prefer warm, dark locations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.